Hello friends, welcome back to this session. In this session, we are going to understand terraform interpolation. So, what is the terraform interpolation? How it works? This is the one of the fundamental topic of the terraform. Uh, we have used multiple times, but let's try to understand formally way and uh, what are the fundamental of the terraform interpolation. We will also see the how terraform interpolation defined and uh, we'll see the conditional level operator and uh, how actually condition works in the terraform in the our demo session also. So let's start terraform interpolation. Terraform interpolation uh, basically use the dollar sign and bracket sign uh, with the uh, with the all uh, running the interpolation configuration. Uh, we can use the terraform interpolation for the max function reference conditional or variable reference to variable how we can define dollar and bracket sign and variable var dot variable name resource we can use the similar way aws underscore instant that is our resource uh, identity from the aws and the name which you are giving the resource name and the attribute of your resource is the id so you can change the attribute based on your need uh, data source uh, is the similar way uh, data and template file that, that's your template file name and the render render means the again the attribute so here the example given the data dot type resource dash name and the attribute name so this is the your configuration part for the uh, resource accessing through the interpolation the next level variable we have this uh, three basic level of the variable uh, string variable, map variable, and list variable. Syntax is the same. Var dot name. In the map, we have to give the key, which key we have to use. So var dot map and underscore we are giving. It's a similar way lay, uh, of our Python uh, dictionary. List, we have to give the list with the index. So if we don't pass the list without index, it will give the full return of the all list and if you want to access the specific index item you should give the index uh, value inside the bracket example uh, string simple dollar var dot demo map you have to give the key which key they have to map like here the example given the var dot ami in the ami i have given the key us east 2 so sometimes i want to map the uh, get the value from the ami which basically use for this specific region and it will get the return similar way we can use the lookup var dot emi and region so if i give the ami along with region it will look up for the uh, that particular region and it will give the emi as a return the list as we discuss var dot subnet it will give basically that subnet index item and if you want to multiple join your uh, uh, list so you can use the join and what uh, character you want to join so here i have given the blank but if you want to give the comma dash or any other variable uh, character to map the multiple uh, uh, items index which are the uh, inside the subnet so that basically join your total index item in the one key the interpolation variable if you go with the multiple uh, level of the module count and path and meta let's try to understand so output of a module so module syntax is the module name and the output is basically your uh, attribute so example we are given the module aws instance it's giving the id we can take the multiple parameter like uh, uh, ips uh, dns and uh, many other supported attributes count is a one of the key uh, uh, configuration for the count basically count used for multiple use here but here we'll discuss here the count for the indexing so if i want to create the multiple resource with the same configuration i can use the count so when you want to use the attribute count number of resource you can use the count dot index so i want specific indexing using count i should use the count here i will see the count demo in our next uh, uh, continuous demo session path we are using the different uh, configuration for the path information fetching path dot cmd here we are using path dot module here we are using and path dot root this basically give the different uh, path value of the different configuration like current uh, working directory module path and root path 
metadata metadata basically used for the getting that data from the information given the terraform dot field here terraform dot i'm passing the environment this will basically return the active workspace the next is the condition part this is a very crucial and important part and majorly people are following here that uh, they are asking the questions uh, even the knows condition they are making the some small uh, issues and mistakes which basically going in the uh, different level of the uh, debugging part so let's try to understand condition in the formal way interpolation may contain the condition like if else syntax is the simple very simple you can pass the condition then you are giving the question mark and the true value and the false value so these are differentiated using the colon here i am giving the example aws resource instance i want to create this instance and when i want to create this instance that is if i environment is specific the name like here i give the environment is the stage then it will go to create else it won't create similar way if i want to uh, use the boolean variable so you can simply pass the var dot environment it's a true false or if you want to give the var dot prod environment so you can use the boolean uh, configuration for a variable uh, terraform operator which are basically used for the different configuration like uh, equal to not equal to so you have to use the double equal to here numeric comparison you can give the greater than greater than equal to less than less than equal to that you can use for the numeric configuration boolean logical so if you want to use a multiple condition you can give the double end and or and unary operator and uh, the exclamation sign so these are the terraform interpolation uh, variables configuration condition and operator now we are going to understand how we can configure the, the terraform uh, conditional operator here so here i have the code which basically describe the terraform interpolation using the different condition variable access and the overall what we have understand the terraform interpolation so we we'll start with the instance basically i'm going to create an instance and uh, with the de dependent uh, resource like vpc security group so let's try to understand the how we are creating the instance so the first first point is the i'm using the instance.tf basically is provided the provider using the aws then i'm using the data part uh, uh, data part to get the right ami so i'm getting the fetching the right ami using the data so data basically used for the filter and we are getting the pre existing the configuration from the uh, available the cloud so right now i don't want to create ami but i want to use the uh, AMI which already available in the AWS so here I'm passing the filter this will give the return of the AMI uh, parameter and that basically we are using the while well, create the instance so in the next field basically in the AWS instance create I'm using the Amazon Linux 2 and ID this will give the return ID from this filtering and basically this will give the Amazon Linux 2 AMI ID so here we are creating the AWS instance and uh, these are the configuration instance type. So let's ignore this one till time, but let's try to understand how we are using the condition here. So in the subnet ID, basically we are passing the, if environment is the prod. So in that case, we are using the prod subnet and uh, else it will go for the dev subnet so we have the two option here if i want to use the dev and prod and i want to classify i don't want to uh, give, give the multiple configuration but here uh, the environment conditional here which we use the prod and this will pass the public subnet of the prod and similar way it will pass the dev subnet uh, if you go to variable here we are using the variable environment so this variable we can configure file uh, triggering the terraform mod uh, terraform code like we can pass the dynamic variable also but here also we take the default variable so let's go for the vpc here so vpc basically use the similar condition if i want to have the production uh, environment then only this will start the vpc and the similar way that dev is secured the dev 
Uh, we are using the VPC as a module, Terrapump standard module. So we are fetching the Terrapump standard module VPC and we are creating the VPC with our uh, some of the customized configuration like uh, private subnet ID and public subnet ID. Rest we are going with the default configuration. So these are basically one of the example for the creating the how VPC. Uh, if I don't want to create the full VPC code, I can simply use the Terraform module and this will give the very easy configuration to create VPC with very dynamic parameters. So you can refer the Terraform modules VPC AWS. Similar way, we are going the AWS security group. We have given the security group dev uh, to create the dev uh, environment and uh, else it won't create. Uh, similar way, the production, then it will go to the production environment. So here you can see the uh, reference module. So if you see that we have the interpolation reference, how we are passing the module, you can see the reference module. How we are passing the value? Simply we can pass in the value that is the uh, very straightforward and uh, many other configuration related to the accessing the value here. So let me go to the terminal and let's uh, try to run something. Uh, so I'm just doing the tenor form in it. So this will init the modules and it will uh, download the dependency. I'm running the terraform plan. We can see the how what configuration is going to create whether it is creating the all or not so let's try to explore that one so this will basically create a 21 resource let's see uh, i want to basically use see the the security group so that will give the very clear uh, idea so see it's going to create the security group uh, dev allowed dev let's see uh, how what we have passed so we have passed environment is the dev and security give uh, group dev allow dev so it's creating the same only it won't create the production so this production won't create here so if you see there is no production so let's try to change this one let's let's try to change the production okay now let's run again so this should create the production uh, security group let's see that also Okay, so this will going to basically create the production security group. So here if you see, majorly use the production environment, but uh, let's come from the security group even because security group is the main uh, resource which we are mapping here. So let's go to the security group. So this is the module, yeah, here. So this is basically creating the security group production. So see, there is no uh, dev. So this is how conditional works and the how ref and our, uh, reference variable works with the interpolation and we'll meet in next session. Thank you. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.